It is Sunday. Hello Gemma. Hello Mark. Sporting Spain hat. hat. <laughs> <laughs> and we are at Cote Brook. We haven't been here since Gemma's birthday around that time last year. Uh, when you did the experience, didn't mm. you? The uh, yeah. Shy Horse experience. We're just going to have a wander around and uh, catch up on the place and uh, see some of the new births of new this falls. year. Yeah, lots of new falls from this year. Um, we are headed in. We actually booked in advance. Look at that, there's peahen, peacock chicks. So we actually booked in advance. We booked in July, but we got sick, if you remember. So we um, had to postpone. Everton Leonardo. You're looking um, frisky today, aren't you? You're not happy about something, fella. You're warm. <laughs> yeah, all the animals are uh, enjoying the shade today. There's one of the farm cats. I think we met that fellow last time we were here, didn't we? We met a few, didn't we? Like out on the yeah, wall. Yeah, wandering around. Yeah, and this is my energy right now. <laughs> it's a big sleepy pig. It's nice and cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll walk out onto the, uh, the fields, but. Before we do, this is Karen, C-A-R-R-O-N. Beautiful. It's Charlie's angel, yeah. I'm gonna head out and I do a quick lap and then. Yeah, yeah. It's got a nice breeze today, isn't it? So I can see a fall. Yay! I can see two falls actually. Oh, yeah. Either the two falls are in it like it hot. <laughs> oh, it's windy today. Yeah, keep your hat down. There's a, a fall. There's a, yeah, there's a flat out <laughs> fall in the field. That was like good planning. We're all named after Scottish mountains and lochs and lakes and stuff. That's where the names come from. So we've got broom. Mm-hmm. Um, the Charlie's Angel in there is a mum. All right. Um, and Anne Tellach, who was only born on the fifth of June this year. Yeah. And the the they all get named after Scottish mountains and lakes and lochs and stuff. Yeah. Oh, Anna's on this side. Anna, Platinum King, Loyal, and Ben and Louis. So Platinum King is was born on the Jubilee. Ah. Platinum Jubilee, and named after Alistair King, who owns the farm. Yeah. So. Between the, this visit and the last visit, the owner and founder actually passed away last year. Uh, we got to meet him on the. Mike, he showed yeah, me spent, around. We, didn't we basically he spent, spent the, whole the day, day with, with him. him. Uh, he was very, you know, very enthusiastic and passionate about the horses. Obviously, you know, because they've won awards for years and years. So it's very sad. So Anna's just won um, a championship again. She's going to the horse of the year show. Yeah. So which is this, this darker one is Anna. They're still continuing to win, which is great. Isn't yeah. It? <laughs> There's the two falls and the two mums. One of the falls has just gone flat out. I think we've mentioned in the past as well, if you've youngsters, there's all like nature trails and there are some um, native endangered species over the back over there as well. So we'll show you them in a bit if you've not seen it, if you've not seen this place before. It's just a nice peaceful place to come because yeah. it's never overbooked and there's always plenty of room to just have a walk over the back. Plus, if you visit once, you get to visit, I think for the rest of the month, or rest you, the you month, get another yeah. visit. I don't know, the you rules have changed recently. Many times would you like for the next month. So if we come on the 1st of August, you could visit every day till the end of August if you wanted to. <laughs> the butterfly down there, oh, off yeah. it goes. Cabbage white, is it? I think so, yeah. So apparently in this field there's Charlie, Spirit, Maddie and Lockhart. I can definitely see a horse here. She's looking at us. It's a different field actually, I'm assuming these ones are all in at the minute. Or on one of the other fields, there's quite a few. Yeah. There's more horses up there. So if you like horses, you're pretty much guaranteed to see one here. <laughs> 
pretty. Aww. This one looks young. You're pretty one. You're pretty one. Did you find out what your name is? Ariana. This is Cariana, yeah? Your she just kicked up some dust. <laughs> Just want something in there. Yeah, lovely. And Karen, who we saw coming in, is mm -hmm. her grandmother. Yeah. So that's where her name comes from, Carrie Anna, because her grandma's Karen. And her She's got really nice merkins on her side. Yeah. Oh. Yes, we're talking about you. Here you go. Same white legs as your mum, haven't you? You're not gonna eat my scarf though, are you? Like she does. <laughs> you're pretty cute. You're pretty one. I like how she gives you a big huff when you <laughs> She's all scraggly underneath. Yeah. Not been to show for a little while, have we? No, it's been the bigger ones that have been in the shows. Yeah. Hasn't it? It's been a big Very ones, pretty, isn't aren't it? you? You're lovely. You're lovely. I think she you're likes being talked to as well. She likes the attention. Big, Mickey Mom. Yeah, you are. <laughs> She's following us. <laughs> Favorite one so far. I do like it when they're quite personable and they just wander down and see what you're up to. Yeah. <laughs> they're all a bit like that around here. So in this field here, there are some deer. They're probably all sheltering at the minute. Actually, I can see them up on the hill under the big tree. Under the tree. Yeah, they're going to be difficult to spot from here on the camera. Now she's giving us the guided toilet. <laughs> yeah. This is the bass grass here. It's the really tasty stuff. And there's the uh, the deer. Impressive antlers. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's nice up this end, right up at the back. Yeah. I mean, there's no horses there currently. Sometimes you do get them in these fields. But it's just massive, so. it's just nice and quiet up here. Probably recreate just walking around some random farm, but it's it's nice here with all the horses. <laughs> Let's get myself a drink here, look. Just have to move all the horse spit out of the way and you're good. Bits of chewed up grass. Bits of chewed up grass, yeah. We're just in the uh, this little hide at the end and there's a couple of nests up in the eaves, which is nice. We're feeding the birds up. Yeah. Didn't they say that this is where the barn owls come as well? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. And because, look at that. They just sit in here sometimes. Mm. I imagine there's probably nothing in these nests now. It'll have all flown. I don't hear anything. Yeah, it's fairly late in the season. Unless they've had a second brood of chicks. Oh, what's Gemma found? Oh, she found the pile of droppings it's on the floor. It's definitely an active nest at some point. Yeah. Sure. Well, there's a turn up for the books. I can see a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Now it used to be the young males that they kept up at the side, didn't it? It was the last time we came here, it was Locke, or hmm. and Locke, somebody else. Rob, his name was Rob, something. Yeah. I know we've always had fun up this part because the young males are quite boisterous and they come right up to the front to see you. Not too fussed about us this time. This is one of the males, Hi. isn't it? Yeah, very shiny. More interested in eating. Wonder he's not long been put out because I remember sat down there and he's got a bag one. Yeah. Playing fine over. Ah, Gemma's found out this is McGregor. So this is Corp Rob Rob Roy McGregor, so you mentioned Rob, wasn't it? It's the... so he's two years old. Yeah. Because he is also Anna's foal, ah. but from the first time we came. <laughs> so last year we came, he was, so he was born in a young upstart. Yeah, he was the one who was tangled in the fence the very first time we came. Oh yeah. Remember? And we had to come and get him out of the wire. 
Yeah, Mammal. they have a habit, in the past, they had a habit of just pushing through and occasionally you just walk past, there'd be a horse here. <laughs> they seem to be behaving since the first time we visited though, I'm sure they have the days. <laughs> He's got an attitude, I like that. And we miss some here because there's this bit here where it splits and there's always a few here so that, it's nice to come back and see these as well. It only takes you maybe about 10-15 minutes to walk around but we usually do it two or three laps. Get our steps in don't we? Yeah, yeah. And the, yeah, as I said, there's Nate, some other species, there's red squirrels, foxes, wildcats, otters. We'll show those later. Oh yeah. So we'll have to... We've met this one before. Yeah. We'll have to get the horse names later for these because they'll be on the other side. We're not sure who this is either. This is another young one though, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite small, although it might be a... I'd say this is a, a maybe two, three year old. Bigger than that one over there. <laughs> wow, you can feel the floor shake when they stamp the feet. Just a little bit. Mm. But where were your name be? Down the bottom. Where were your name Maybe we should have um, your name on your back. <laughs> I'm not sure that would work. The back. Yeah, so we need to double check. We think this is Loch Lagan and her son Fleet. Mm -hmm. But we'll double check and make sure. And someone's annoyed by flies. Yeah. She's got shoes on. Must have been to a show recently. Are you bringing your, your little one over? Do you want to come over? Hey, get off me, it's too hot. She's a big one, isn't she? She is. Keep <laughs> chasing him round. If she's leaning again today, she must be roasted. Picking up the dust, aren't you, madam, as well? Wasn't she a uh, feisty one? Anna's the feisty one. Alright. I bet they can all be feisty in the wrong mood. <laughs> yeah, especially when they've got foals. So, this youngster is nursing. Mum's patiently letting him, even though he looks too big for it now. <laughs> He's only about six months old. Is he? Oh, all right. January He's so what, huge, isn't he? So, Gemma was right. It is lagging and Kern's more a fleet. So Ben Lowers, that was the other one, that was the male, that was at the back. Yeah. It was Ben, not Rob. That's I his see. brother. Oh, gotcha. I like that they have this, so you can like... Yeah, I was getting mixed up with names. Oh, there you yeah. go, so the females are named after locks in Scotland, yeah. and the males are named after mountains. Maybe. With just a few exceptions. And they're just over there. It's like proper, proper green and pleasant countryside here, isn't it? He's just born. He's been in the show ring, the, the foal, mm. and he's won three times the Royal Cheshire Show, Newport Show, and the Bakewell Show, Champion Foal. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. So that's kind of the end of the horse fields, other than one, I think, for the, the male at the entrance, but I think we already saw him. We're going to head down the hill now, in the woods here there's things to see, some animals and over the back on the other side behind this farmer's field there's stuff to see as well. So this is a little clue as to what is in the woods here. Alright we might a bit turned off just a little bit early for the, um, the squirrels and now it looks like we're lost in the woods, we'll never be found again. But look this is if you do one of the trails, the nature trails is currently running. And we walked a little bit further along and sure enough we found the red squirrel enclosures. Have we ever actually seen a red squirrel? <laughs> red squirrels can be quite difficult to spot at times. There was a, uh, a bird just flew through there. Or the back. But Jen was just saying that they do have a big squirrel run. It goes all the way around and they also make nests up at the top in random parts. They get nests made for them but make their own. Yeah, that's where as well. The, 
the pond's dry at the minute, yeah. which goes to show how warm it's been this year, I think. Not Found a barn hill, sheltering in the air. Just peered down at me as I wandered over. It's like, who are you? Have you got food for me? We just crossed the bridge over into this field. This is where the stallion's kept. Most of the time he's over the hill over there. It's the one that got in this stable, haven't they? Yeah, they, they, one of the uh, staff members or people involved with the place was over there. And this is the Scottish Wildcat enclosure, I think. It's quite a cool enclosure with a nice big run. Mm -hmm. How's it like and there's a Scottish Wildcat there walking over the top. How's it Let's do it. Walk it. Dad run up the air. Uh, Grumbling as well. Then we walk along an ice pond. The pond's actually looking a little bit low as well. And the pub over the back there, I think they actually own all the land. Um, uh, but the pubs have got quite nice reviews. So Rob, Rob, Robinson's Brewery, I think, on it. Yeah, that's what I said on the front. Yeah, but it gets pretty good reviews for food and stuff. Well, not today for us. We'll probably just grab a bite to eat in the little cafe here as well. There's a fox enclosure there, but we've overheard someone saying they're not about. We could probably find them, they'll be asleep in the den right in the corner. But I can't really show them on the camera. But we're going to have a rest in a minute and get some water because just one lap of here in today's near 30 degree heat is as uh, tired as that. Difficult to spot through this fence, but there's a pole cat sunning itself down there as well. And there's an otter enclosure here, but. Uh, the rain, sorry, the lack of rain has dried up the pond, so. and obviously the heat means they're uh, they're chilling for a bit. I don't actually think we've ever seen the, the otters here. We did tell them last time. Did we? They were running through the grass. And this is? Cairngorm. Cairngorm. This is the feisty one, isn't it? No, because that's Leonardo. Oh, of course, be, yeah. This is a, a 2021. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I call you feisty and you weren't approving of that? And it's not all Shire horses, we've got some Shetland ponies and a little tiny one down there as well. And the size of this fall. <laughs> one of the ponies. Bit of food out. One thing I picked up this week, actually primarily for use at my desk while I'm working, is a little fan. And then I found out I'll just stick it in my bag because it's ideal. And carry it round. I can pop it down on the desk <coughs> as well. That was a good purchase. <laughs> Been another walk around when when the horse Karen just made me laugh by slapping her lips together. <laughs> Typically on round two, all the horses have gone and moved back. I think it was further over where we started to get something by the fences saying hello to us anyway. So we had uh, a hot dog apiece for lunch and a cornetto. It was quite pleasant. And the two youngsters down there have been grooming each other. Either that or they're just annoying each other. I think they might just be annoying each other. And the one horse we didn't get a name for is this one here, it's Kelsey. It was born a couple of years back. I think we managed to miss those three on the first lap. On the way up the back there. We're back here with this one, who was very friendly to us on the last lap. Wanted to come and say hi. There was a bit of aloof, aloof and standoffish. <laughs> Pretty girl. <clears throat> some more deer up and about now. <laughs> I'll just get back down again. <laughs> That's Hen Gemma just waited patiently. So she could pet the horse. Well, 
Oh. Yeah. Like his mum. Let's not, let's not pet him then. Give him his space. Beautiful, isn't there any colours on him? Yeah, he's gorgeous. In the sun. So the stallion we saw in the stable, yeah. that's his dad. You take after your dad for being a bit feisty, do you? And there's mum, she's the one who has the sign that says she'll steal your scarf. <laughs> and we'll pop back down and see these ones again. Still, still at mum for uh, the milk. Cheeky chap came over to say hello to us this time. Hello. You got a little moustache. You got a lovely know. soft fur on him. Didn't you? Look at those ears. Yeah. You can some boy with that nasty fly. You had a nice walk round, hun. Mm -hmm. It's good, isn't it? So Jim wants to go back to the beginning to look at the falls again, so we'll do that. Then we'll probably pop over here and just check out the uh, pole the cats and there. otters and things and see if we can see them oh, as well. Oh, there's the there. It's, it's oh, yeah. Shetland Pony. Field goes all the way up to the back. Oh, okay. It's massive. It goes like, like, oh, it's because it's, it's on like the, the lake, isn't, isn't it? Yeah. So the pond, the, the horse that we were looking at. The non Shire horse horse is there now because it can get out and up this side as well. That's what Jem's saying. And here we should be running along where the falls are, <laughs> and down here should be the stable. I don't think we've ever walked this path to be honest. Maybe we did it on the first visit actually. And we'd normally do three good laps, but just because of the heat today, I mean, we've actually gone through two bottles of water already. And a bottle of coke. And a bottle of coke, so we're probably just going to leave it at the two. And then come across here in a bit and have a quick look at some of the other animals. She's massive. Mm -hmm. Oh, you nibble that. You nibble that. You're cheeky. Pick up. We're a bonus kitty cat before we leave. But we're being quiet because he's sleeping. Nice day at Corkbrook, honey. Yeah, lovely. Very warm. Very warm. Lovely day for a walk around in There's the sunshine. There's a nice breeze. Yes. And uh, we've just been serenaded by the pigs fighting, well, fighting, but arguing with one another because yeah. it's too warm and one, one of, of them wants to, wants to snuggle. Up. Yeah. But anyway, I think we'll leave it there. Uh, so thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. Oops.